హలో నమస్తే ఇట్స్ మై ప్రకాష్ సుబేది టుడే ఆల్సో ఐఎమ్ ప్రెజెంట్ హియర్ టు టీచ్ ద సోషల్ స్టడీ ఫర్ గ్రేట్ సిక్స్ స్టూడెంట్ స్టూడెంట్ టుడే విల్ రీడ్ అబౌట్ ద సెకండ్ లెషన్ ఆర్ ద పార్ట్ సెకండ్ ఆఫ్ సోషల్ స్టడీ ఆ ఒరిజిన్ అండ్ ఫార్మేషన్ ఆఫ్ సొసైటీ ఇన్ ద ప్రీవియస్ లెషన్ వీ డిస్కస్ అబౌట్ ద సొసైటీ కమ్యూనిటీ అండ్ సొసైటీ డిఫరెన్స్ ఆఫ్ దెమ్ ఆర్ డిఫరెన్సెస్ అండ్ సిమిలారిటీస్ ఆఫ్ ద community and the society today we are going to discuss about the uh, stages or the developmental stages of society how were the society developed from past to present how we are developing it means how the civilization took place from the primitive time to the present time uh, you know our ancestors in the primitive time or in the ancient time uh the lifestyle of the people are our ancestors and uh, today we are in these uh, lifestyles it is a vast difference or there is the quite difference between that times and this time so it is uh, over the time or the change of time which uh, took place from past to present all of the changes brought by the change in the different stages or the change of different developmental stages the first stage of the human civilizations or the uh, human beings which was to place from the hunting and gathering stage hunting and gathering stage you know our ancestor were considered to be developed from the hunting stage our people is spent their life from the hunting stage or they started their journey from the hunting stage or the gathering stage what is that hunting stage means the hunting stage by the word we understand hunt people spend their life by hunting the mood of life of the people depends upon the hunting and they gather some of the things the main features of the hunting is or their life was very simple the simple life they spent and uh, consider as the first step of life you know how to define the term hunting is that the is the stage of the society in which people spend their life by hunting animals they survive uh, by hunting the animals and uh, that used to be a main food for them whatever they hunt that used to be a main food for them so in the hunting stage the people of where they used to collect and share the food for their children and a bit they used to be socialized while hunting of at first they used to hunt alone there was no any friends or they want to move in the group and uh, when they used to hunt it was very difficult to collect or to gather there was the great threatening from the wild animals because they need to live with the wild animals uh, the settlements or the shelters used to be a same one so that uh, there was the great threat in the hunting stage and then uh, they feel they feel that we must be together when they feel threat in the hunting stage they felt we must be together and hunt the animal so that uh, normally they used to spend their life by hunting so this stage is considered as the hunting stage and uh, how was the uh, life they have very nomadic life nomadic life means uh, uh, they used to be in one place today in another day they used to be in another place they used to hunt their uh, main task is to be hunt and survive just sustain their life by hunting and roaming here and there there was not any significant changes or significant development there was not the easiness in life also that's why they had the uh, nomadic life uh, they were highly dependent to each other if some of hunt or especially there is to be the society was di- divided or the labor work was divided on the basis of sex male used to be hunt and female used to be collect the uh, such type of uh, food and then they used to survive and they used to live together in their so the first stage of uh, the life 
at that time at the first stage of development of the society was hunting and gathering stage you know hunting and gathering means they used to hunt the animals and gather the food and they used to spend their life there was not any significant changes within their life gradually from nomadic life they passed the nomadic almost nomadic life they used to roam here and there and they passed the time later uh, there was the division of the work also that we get uh, especially uh, cave they used to live in the cave right and uh, that change into the animal rearing age or the pastoral society when that hunting age was passed and gradually that change into the uh, animal rearing age animal rearing age which is considered as the second stage of society what are the main features of the uh, of this age or the of the uh, stage of this uh, is is people started animal husbandry and diversified their life quite they changed their life because they started the animal husbandry and uh, diversified their life from hunting age to they used to keep or rear the animals so that the society changed from hunting age to uh, animal husbandry is that change it in here uh, instead of uh, hunting they used to uh, rear the animals and uh, collect the meat collect the meat not only that they used to rear the animals for meat and wool also so that the life was changed in this way and settlement became periodic before they used to, from one place to while moving from one place to another place one day they used to be in one place in another day they will be in another place and uh, when they come up to this uh, gathering or this uh, uh, animal rearing or the animal husbandry period then they used to uh, rear the animals for meat and wool also meat and wool and their settlement became periodic they used to leave certain period in here to rear the animals and uh, certain period for uh, uh, you know that to do the crop also or cultivation of crops in this way they used to pass this second stage or the pastoral pastoral by the meaning pastoral means they move here and there for feeding the animals or crop also and when they passed from that stage in gradually not only animals they used to crop the foods also crop the food and the horticulture society started or the horticulture society began so what happened in this stage was animals are used to plow the animals instead of killing them they used to plow or the animals used for plowing and then they started to increase the productivity by plowing the field the plowing allows to cultivate the large area in a while using the animals and plowing the field then uh, the production or the agricultural productions became larger and uh, the food became the primary sources of primary sources and uh, the fruits became the main food for them in the horticulture society and uh, the society or the so settlement became also uh, concentrated that mean uh, the settlement is to be concentrated each other because they need to do the uh, do the agriculture productions or they need to produce the agriculture they need to rear the animals for this one they uh, take the large area and they cultivate the large area in the settlement while producing that crop they need to uh, stopped in there they need to remove uh, they need to uh, reside in there so that the settlement became for quite longer time that was not like the previous time the time was quite long in this horticultural society that means they used to live in the same place for a long time and especially in such a places there used to be a settlement concentrated where there is the availability of water and the uh, land which is suitable for cultivate in the place of uh, you know that availability of the water to irrigate uh, they need to do the crop cultivations that's why also uh, where there is the availability of water and the land available in such places the settlement was concentrated that we can say right after the over of this horticulture society the agriculture 
society or the agriculture stage of the society started it was very on that the people did the corruption people did the crops or they cultivate the lands and produce the crops in in large quantity they started to produce the crops in large quantity gradually and then uh, they started to share each other they used to share uh, they used to sell each other also so the barter system also came into the existence barter system means uh, you know that exchanging the goods with the goods especially at the time they used to share the crops from one person to another person who have more crops who can produce the more crops they used to share the crops for the others along with the goods or with the exchange of goods that's why the barter system came into the existence uh, you know barter system means exchanging goods with goods and uh, society was divided as the landlord and the farmer landlord and the farmer in that sense we can do the more crops who have the large area of land and there the people used to produce the uh, you know large quantity of the uh, productions so that's why uh, they used to uh, some of them are who can produce the large quantity of foods they used to be a landlords and then uh, who are doing the works in there are considered as the farmer so that the society was developed or divided in the form of uh, landlord and the farmer these are main characters of the agriculture society and right after passing this society then development uh, stage the industrial society came into the existence industrial society came into the existence means by the word we know it uh, they focused on the agri sorry, industries the raw materials are produced from the agriculture agriculture because in early stage they were uh, you know quite non about to do the agriculture or to increase the productivity agricultural productions so that in the when the raw materials are available to run the industries then they focused on the industrial uh, development and the raw materials are collected from the different parts in the uh, labor was divided as the owners and the workers we can produce the finished goods from the industries they used to sell they carried the they make the market and sell the goods and they became the owners whereas who can employ it in there they became as the workers and uh, they have, while exchanging those goods along with the exchange of the goods there was the cultural differences also because they shared the culture they started to share the culture also and uh, there was the widening gap created as uh, rich and poor poor and rich people came into the existence in that sense uh, who can produce who can run the industries they became rich and uh, people who are treated as the workers and remain as the poor or who do not can, who doesn't have the access to use as type of uh, materials became poor so in this way the industrial stage of the society experienced and uh, in many parts of the world still it is the time of industrial uh, evolution of the industrial stage in some of parts some parts of the world there is uh, the science and technology or the modern age by the characters what we can say is that the many scientific discoveries and inventions have made many scientific discoveries and inventions have made by the invention of field of communication and transportation uh, there was the extreme level or the climax level of development that we can experience also it's like that a fast service from many parts of the world which made possible by the expansion of uh, communication and transportation uh, we can reach in many parts of the world within certain time or we can pass the messages or the informations very quickly from one parts of the uh, world to the another parts of the world or every nooks and corners we can easily available with anything else which is possible to be made by the presence of or the development of science and uh, age of science and technology or the development of science and technology which is considered as the important age developed in this world like that uh, though we are in this uh, scientific age in some of the society already came into the existence of the postmodern society the postmodern society is such type of society uh, which have the imagine, imagination 
became our imagination changed into reality. In few of the mega cities that what we imagine such type of things are possible to get, especially the postmodern society was termed as the society which adopts the multicultural aspects and life styles. That means the mixed type of cultures uh, started in the few parts of the world from whatever good aspects of the life they found in any parts of the world that is adopted and became the multi uh, cultural aspects they adopt in their life. Tremendous development to meet the imagination of the, with the people means that means whatever they imagine that became the reality due to the development in this part. So in this way altogether there are six major stages of the development of the society existing and continue till the date. What are the basis for the formation of society? Basis for the formation of the society that is uh, living in a group, we used to live in the group, right? Formation of society means how the society came into the existence means, first of all, we started to live in the group, that's why the moon character is that living in a group. Uh, there is to be a responsibilities to be safe from the safe from others or to share each other, then there was the responsibilities. That responsibility also make the development in the society or formation of the society. Uh, social thinking and the sentiments, they used to share each other means uh, when they get troubles, then they used to share. Uh, if they need help, they used to get this one. That's why the social thinking and the sentiments uh, that also became the characters or the formation of the society. Help and cooperation, they need help and they need to cooperate in the time of need. That's why this is also the another base for the society. United work, when they used to be together, then they started to do the work together and fulfillment of the needs they used to fulfill the need that means uh, uh, if you desire uh, if somebody desires that should be fulfilled to fulfill this one they need to depend upon the society that's why they it should be developed or the society should be developed in order or continuously uh, they need to keep or continue the cultural values also for this one they need they develop the culture and cultural values they need to be more secure so that's why the security that is also the another base for this one and the professions to adapt the different types of professions also that means by changing in their life taking as their profession uh, they came into the another stage of the society so in this way these are termed as the basis for the formation of society the students from this one this is the last for today's class and there are two questions for you uh, to solve and show to your teacher write two differences between hunting and the agricultural age you write the answer of this question and submit to their teacher concerned teacher what are the basis of the formation of society of how the societies are formed or what are the prerequisites necessary things or how the societal developmental came into the existence just have explained the basis so you will solve these questions and then submit to your teacher thank you have a great day.